if you want to make this or this in a month from selling these on Amazon KDP, then this is the right video for you. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mary. And if you're interested in learning ways to generate passive income online, then consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss new videos I upload every week like this. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make children's short story books that can generate tens and thousands of dollars in passive income, just like these authors. We're going to make this book from scratch with the help of AI. We will cover how to do a research to make sure that we are creating a book in demand, how to create our short stories using ChatGPT, how to generate illustrations using Midjourney, and how to design our book cover using Canva. Now for the first part of our tutorial, we'll look at the process of researching ideas for our book because it's important to create a book that is in demand so you have a better chance of making sales. According to this website, it's projected that the children's book market in the US will reach 2.62 billion in 2023. The children's book category has grown by 18.5% over the last five years, indicating that this industry is indeed a hot one. Now let's head over to Amazon to discover some ideas. I have a video that offers a comprehensive KDP research tutorial and I'll provide a link to it in the description below. However, today I'll give you a quick overview of how to research keywords. To find ideas, you can simply use the search bar to type in what you're looking for. And in this case, I'll type short stories for kids. There are a large number of search results, so we want to narrow it down further. I'll return to the search bar and enter short story for kids followed by a space to assess the auto-suggested results. You can see that there are many options to choose from and the tool that I use to expand the search suggestion is called Amazon Suggestion Expander. It's a free Chrome extension that can be installed on your computer. From these options, I'll click on short stories for kids aged 8 to 10 to analyze the results. And as you can see, the competition is quite fair, which is promising. Now, if we scroll down to the book section, there are several books with a low PSR indicating high demand. Low PSR suggests more sales, while a high PSR suggests fewer sales. So with good competition and lots of books with low PSRs, this keyword is definitely one to consider. Now let's proceed to the next step, which is to ask ChatGPT to create our stories. Inspirational and educational storybooks are an excellent product to create and sell because parents prefer buying this kind of books to help their children learn about life virtues. Now I asked ChatGPT to give me a title for an inspirational short stories book for kids 8 to 10. The book should teach kids about confidence and here's the title I received. Next, I asked ChatGPT to generate ideas for 10 inspirational short story titles within my title. The story ideas should reflect real life situations. I've included a specific prompt to emphasize the creation of stories based on relatable real life situations. And of course, you can adjust your prompt to focus on magical ideas or adventures, but it's crucial to be specific in your prompt to achieve the best results. Now, I really like these titles. Children can relate these stories to their first day at school or a soccer match or even overcoming stage fright. Following that, I asked ChatGPT to create an outline for each story. Now, this is done to allow ChatGPT to establish a plot and structure for each story before writing it. And as you can see, we have an introduction, the challenge, determination, and even a triumph outlined for each story to provide them with an organized storyline. Next, I asked ChatGPT to write a 500 word story for number one. Here's the story it created. Now, I really love the storyline and it has a good inspirational ending. Next, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write a 500 word story for number two and allow it to do its magic again and then repeat this process for the remaining stories. The next step is to check for plagiarism. So I'll use checker.com to do this. Simply enter your script in the input area and click enter. Now, luckily, the results are back and we have a 100% unique score. Now that we have all our stories and checked for plagiarism, it's time to move on to step two, which involves creating our illustrations using Midjourney. If you don't already know, Midjourney is a text to image tool that uses artificial intelligence to generate images from textual descriptions. It costs about $10 for the basic subscription, but trust me, it's well worth the price. Now for our book, we don't need a lot of images per story because we are not making a picture book. We just need around two to three images for each story. 
now let's make images for our first story and i'm going to log into my account and into my server and then enter forward slash imagine followed by my prompt to generate my main character now if you don't like what you got you can click on the regenerate button here to get a new set of images now i don't really like this so i'm just going to click this button to get another set now i really like this new set and i'm going to upscale the third and the fourth options i prefer the fourth one so i'm going to use this to create a consistent character for our story next i want to create different poses and expressions for this character so the first thing to do is to like the upscaled image then we need to copy image address and do this Click on the image and click open a new browser. Then right click and copy the image address. Next we want the save number so I'm going to click this button here and click on the envelope button. If you don't find the envelope button, you can type it in the search bar to find it. You will get a message from me Johnny with your seed number. Now that we have our image address and seed number, the next step is to open the prompt box and enter our image address followed by our original prompt and then the seed number like this. Then we press enter. Now we can copy the whole prompt and just change the expressions as we like. So I'm going to add sad expression in her bedroom to the prompt and hit enter. Now I got these images which are very impressive. They really look like our original character and I upscaled the first option and it's just insane how good these images look. Next I'm going to re-enter the prompt but add happy expression in her classroom. Now I'm getting these different expressions from the story, so you can change the prompt to adapt to your own story. I hit enter and got these images that I really love, but will upscale the fourth image. Now I'm going to add one more prompt to show excitement and we change the prompt like this. I really prefer option four, so I'm going to upscale it. Next I'm going to save all the images to my computer and increase the resolution using a free tool called bigjpg.com. So all I need to do is click on select images and add my images, then click the start button. Click on two times for upscaling and click highest for noise reduction, then click start. Once it's done upscaling, we'll simply download the images to our computer. Now that all the images for my first story have been upscaled and downloaded, it's time to put them all together in my next step, but first we need the dimensions for our book, so head over to cover calculator at kdp.amazon.com and enter your book information and click calculate. Amazon will show you the dimensions for your entire cover, including the spine area, and you will need to download the template for use later on. Next, let's head over to Canva to put our book together. Canva is a graphic design tool. I use it a lot in all my videos, and I really like this tool for making my designs. So I'll create a new design by pressing this button, and then I'll enter my dimensions, which is six by nine inches, and click create. To start, I want to set up margins to ensure that all the content stays within the designed area. Next, I'm going to create the title page of my storybook. I'll click on text, then add a heading and drag my text like this. Then I'll copy and paste my title from ChatGPT into Canva and then change the font type and increase the font size. Next, I'm going to add some effects. So I'll click the effect button and click on shadows and then change the offset to 50 and color to black. Next, I'll add another text for my subtitle and copy and paste the content from ChatGPT. Then I'll adjust the font size and type like this. Next, let's copy and paste this text so that we can add our author's name. The next page is a table of content and I simply copied and pasted all my titles from ChatGPT to Canva to complete this page. I'll add an introduction page here and you can ask ChatGPT to write an introduction page for your title. Now let's create our first story. I'll copy and paste the title from ChatGPT and adjust the font type and size like this. Next I'll drag one of the images we downloaded from Midjourney into the design area and align it like this. Next I'm going to add more text to fill up the remaining space. So I'm going to quickly walk through the remaining story and we'll come back to you once I'm finished. Now the first story is done and it looks really amazing. Next I'm going to add some page numbers. So I'll add a text and reduce the size then drag it into the position I want for the page number. Then I'll simply copy and paste it to all my pages like this. Okay, so we're done with the first story and you can apply this method to the remaining stories. If you're finding some value from this video, please give it a like to help the algorithm
and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Next, let's create our book cover and we're going to create a new design using those dimensions that we got from Amazon. After that, upload the template you downloaded from Amazon and drag it onto the design area. Adjust the template to fill the page and then lower its transparency. Now it's time to add content to the cover. First, I'll add a background and set it as the image background. Then I'll drag and drop the image we got from Mid Journey and remove its background like this. Next, I'm going to add the text for my title, then copy and paste the title from ChatGPT. I will adjust the text size and font, then I'll change the color and add some effects to my text. Next, I'm going to duplicate the title and paste the subtitle from ChatGPT. Then I'll reduce text size and change the font color like this. Now I'm just going to delete the dimension template to get a better view of the cover as I don't really need it anymore. Our book cover already looks good but I would like to add some effects to the image so I'll click on edit photo, shadows, then outline. I'll change the outline color and increase the blow amount to 55 then reduce size to 17. And this is how it would look. So that's it guys, our book cover is looking good. The next step would be to download the stories and the book cover as a PDF print, then create an account on Amazon and upload your book. I'm not going to do this here, but I'll link my video where I show you step by step how I upload my books on Amazon KDP. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this because you don't want to miss what I have in store for you. But until then, have a fantastic day.